actually began that as a, um, uh, you know, even before Rock and Mortgage ever hit the, uh, the first commercial. So, you know, and then since then, uh, you know, the system just has evolved. I mean, as I used it, as uh, other people use the system, you know, we're like, man, how can, you know, how can someone upload documents securely? How can, you know, we, um, okay, now we got a pre-qual form, you know, gosh, I really need to pull credit. I'm not at my desk, you know, and then once you had credit, it was like, you know, I need to be able to analyze this and, and now I need to work a scenario. I need to see the DTI and gosh, it'd be great if I could issue an approval letter. So everything in our system has evolved based upon the needs of loan officers. So it was very loan officer minded every step of the way. And, you know, as I mentioned, uh, as we were talking out off camera earlier that, you know, um, as I use it, even to this day, you know, I'll see things I'm, I'm on here. I'm like, you know, dang it. We need to do this. And I'll reach out to my team and say, look, we got, we, we got to fix this. We got to, we got to build this out, you know? And so, you know, I'm a user as well as the, the founder. So, um, so yeah, that's, that's how we came, came into existence. So I know a lot of folks out there have, you know, like, like apps and they've got things that are kind of integrated with an LOS but you've gone in, you've gone a different direction. I mean, I explain that a little bit to the folks that don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, so so our system is cloud based, so there is nothing natively installed on anyone's phone, which that's just because I you know, I, I hate installing apps on my phone, you know. So, um, uh, but you know, but that being said, you mentioned uh, integrations with LOS S's. You know, we do integrate with with the major LOSs out there. Um, matter of fact, we, we just uh, announced a real, a, a very enhanced integration with Lending QB, which we're really excited about. Uh, we, I mean, we anything you can do if you're a Lending QB customer out there, if there's anything that you could do within Lending QB, you now can do through Pre App 1003. Uh, price loans, lock loans, I mean, anything. Uh, view loan summary statuses. So, you know, um, but uh, yeah, so I forgot your question. So <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. It was kind of like a benefits and features question. Anyways, it was really, you know, just, just, I mean, you don't have it. There's no app to install. You basically, what do you do? You give somebody a text code, you tell them to text it back and they click the link and, and there you are. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, basically, you know, let's do this because I know there's a lot of people live and I know a lot of your, a lot of people in this group, they're familiar with with what we do, but um, uh, let's do this just for a, a, a interesting exercise. I want everyone to pull out your cell phones, okay? And this is just one of our delivery methods. And let me before I, I show you this, we have other delivery methods. Like we have an icon that will put your picture or your logo on your phone or on your referral partner's phones. They can click it, type in the name and number of of the prospect as and and you can text out the pre app application to customers that way. But for the sake of just one demonstrating, uh, one, one, one demonstration, pull out your phones. I want everyone to send a text to 33655 and text the keyword webinar. Webinar to 33655. I want to show you this, okay, because TJ mentioned uh, lead capture. I want to show also by leveraging our system, if you do it the right way, you can actually use this to generate leads. Okay, so everyone text webinar to 33655. Okay, I want, you hear that? There you go. Okay, so, and I'm gonna turn my phone off because I know we're live, This, this, and we're gonna post this video as well, but as people do that, I don't know if you just heard, I just got two text messages. What I just got was I just got the two phone numbers, whoever did those texts just then, um, and uh, saying that these numbers opted into this particular keyword. Now, what's interesting, yeah, I'm getting more coming in here now, right now. It looks like that's an Arizona number that I just got. Um, so if you notice, you're going to get a link to the pre-app. So you could click on the link, open it up, and what you're going to see is you'll see, first of all, our new interview style application. Okay, we have two styles, a classic style, and we have an interview style that captures the same data points. But if you notice, there's a video embedded at the top of the, um, of the application. Now, I'm gonna tell you guys, that's an old video. Do not judge our system based upon that video. Our development has far exceeded our, really our ability to keep up with our marketing, which is really a good problem to have. Um, but I wanted to show you is we're the only system on the market today that has incorporated a video function within the application with short code technology. And what's unique about this is, is yes, you can have a simple greeting. Hi, my name's Mike Fisher. 
you know, and, and you can introduce yourself, establish your professional authority, have a call to action to fill out the secure form below. But what's also interesting about this is as you market your keyword and your short code um, on all of your media platforms, when people do it, you're going to capture phone numbers. And if you don't get an application submitted, you can call these people. Now, here's what's cool. And, I, and I, we do a whole coaching system on this. People actually through our system can get additional keywords. So you do the military mortgage boot camp. You're a VA specialist. So let's say you wanted to get, you know, uh, Mike for vets, okay, as a keyword. With that keyword, you can have a veteran-specific video embedded into uh, your application. So as you market, hey, you know what? There's, you know, there's myths regarding VA lending. I'm a VA specialist. Let's debunk some of these myths. Text Mike for vets to 33655. And, and let, me, let me talk to you about some of these. What are these myths and, and how do we as a mortgage, how, how do we help overcome this in, in these transactions? As they do that, they're going to get your application with a video specific for what that was. So what you're doing is you're creating a video. You're going to Facebook Live. And you're bait, so I hate to use that word, but baiting the public to text your keyword as they do it. They get their video that you told them here, I'm going to educate you with a video and my application. But also you're going to get a ton of phone numbers saying, hey, this number just opted into this particular campaign. So you're capturing leads by leveraging the system a, a different way. That's awesome. That's awesome. So, yeah. so yeah, I've that's... noticed now in that, that new app style, yeah, it's, that's what I was just looking at. I was going through it, and I'm like, "Holy moly, yeah. this is um, this is great." It's survey questionnaire based. It's it's quote unquote gamified. Right. So you know, it's pretty easy. Like, oh yeah, purchase refi. Just move to the next screen. Right? You guys, I encourage you all to, if you're even listening on the replay, check that demo out um, because it's pretty badass. <laughs> Very simple. You know, and you know, Mike, I wonder. We, we've had a lot of requests. You know. Look, the reason why we're at where we are today as a company, and we, we have thousands of subscri subscribers across the country. We've grown extremely fast, um, but because we listen to our loan officers, okay? They say, you know what? We like this. We like that. We like, and so, 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 man, if it makes sense, we incorporate these things. And let me explain one of the updates that we've done. And I want to show a couple others, but I'll just explain this one. <clears throat> we have a two-step process to get a, a full application. We have a short pre-qual form. When the borrower uh, fills it out, they're, they, they're redirected to a toolbox where they can flesh out the rest of their application, HMDA, declarations. You know, it's that second step where they create an account. That was by my design because I saw a username and password as a hurdle, as an obstacle for someone to fill out an application. I saw a full app that takes 15 minutes, 20 minutes as an obstacle. So, so I wanted a quick, easy app then let them flesh it out, but give me the necessary details that I need to begin the process to connect to be, because I know if I could talk to someone, I'm not going to lose that customer. Okay. But we've had a lot of requests of people that, that have said, look, I want, fact, finally, one guy called us the other day and he's, he's been with us for a while. And he said, he, and I loved his honesty. He said, look, I just, I don't like people. I, you know, I, I don't, I, I don't want, I don't want to, 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 to take the interview over the phone. I don't want to, you know, I want a full application as a first step because I don't want to talk to people. That so, wasn't Brad in California, was it? <laughs> <laughs> Called him out. I'm not, I'm not going to say who it was, but we <laughs> laughed we, when we heard it because it was, it was like finally an honest loan officer why they want a full app as a first step. So what we've done is we've actually built that out. So by, by the end of the month, you're going to have uh, the ability to have a full application. You put the login as, as a very first thing, and you could, if you want to force them through that, fine. If you want them to just have the prequal form, fine. If you, we were going to give you a lot of different options. And so that's one example of how we've adapted our system to our customers. That's incredible. Yeah, so, so first off, let's just get this out there and get this straight. Of all the different things that are out there, pre-app, whether it's the new version or the old version, is by far the most user-friendly and easiest application to take. You know, I've had situations where I've had clients who have wanted to apply on the, over the phone where I've gone by like, yeah, hold on a second. And I pulled up my pre-app <laughs> and taken their application right there because it's so simple to use and it flows so smoothly. So all the other bells and whistles that you've added to this are amazing, but that functionality alone is the best on the market. 
Yeah, thank you. I, I appreciate you saying that. And I, I, you know, I do want to show some of our new 4.0 updates uh, and some of the things that that just to kind of let you guys know what we're working on. And all of this is because, man, as I use it, I'm like, you know, we need this, we need that, we need that. I mean, I'll give you a little tidbit. I mean, we're integrating with wholesale lenders right now um, to pull pricing, to lock loans, and upload directly to, to wholesalers. Uh, we're super excited about that. And that all is from, you know, because I'll have something and I'm like, man, I need, you know, I, I don't just want to guess on a rate. And as a broker, you know, we need the convenience of being able to pull live pricing from our wholesalers. So we actually are uh, in the middle of that. So I'm not going to say who for the sake of NDAs, but it is uh, coming down the pipes very, very soon. Well, here's what I want to know about when you talk about some of the, the updates, you know, in the comment the other day, this all started because someone asked if they had heard a pre app and trying to compare it to Flowify, right? And I think your, your comment was, hey, Flowify started as a document management system, pre app started as a point of sale, right? Now, each one's kind of moving towards the other direction, but you, I'd love to see or kind of find out a little bit more about what you're doing on this to make it more of a you know, a full blown, almost mini origination system, right? Like where you've yeah. got, you got, got all this stuff in here where, um, you know, if you're able to collect, collect the docs and, and get the, and push, uh, updates out to the clients and things of that nature, I'd love to hear a little bit more about that. Yeah. Uh, let me, let me, I'll tell you what, I'm going to share my screen and, and let me just say, you know, you, you mentioned another company. I normally don't mention any of our competition like that, but, but I do want to say, you know what? Uh, I have a lot of respect for the company. I know the, the, the CEO, he's, great guy. I, I think the world of them, but you know, yeah, we are competitors and um, you know, we uh, of course we believe our system is, is, is the best out there for loan officers. And I, I do want to say this as well for the, for, for what we deliver, we're also the, the, the most affordable. Okay. Right. So um, yeah, we're not knocking the, the other, we're not knocking right, them. Right. Um, I'm a big fan of them. I'm a huge fan of pre app for me. I'm looking at it just as a consumer. I'm like, Holy moly. If I've got, yeah, the system that I love, and it can do all the stuff that this other system over here does as well. Th that's a victory. Can you guys see my? Uh, can y'all see my screen? Yep, we got it. Okay. Now, I normally do this on a Zoom on a, on a Zoom meeting. Hold on, I can't. I can't type and uh, talk at the same time. <laughs> Normally I do this on a Zoom meeting and I would share my phone. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have to do this through you know the desktop. But um, this would be if you log in. This is what it looks like your pipeline um, you know, within you know on the desktop. Now if you want to look at it from a mobile perspective, it would look more like this here. So uh, so there we go. It would look like this. So this was what your pipeline would look like. All right. So now I'm gonna leave it like this for just a second. Okay. Now this would can I ask real here, quick? That, yeah. How does the LO get to, to the mobile on their mobile phone? Is there a, is there an app or do they ah, just go to the yeah. cloud? Yeah, so um, so there's an icon feature that they could save to their phone, which would be, um, you know, it could be their logo, it could be their picture. Um, they actually can share that with referral partners too. And it's also another delivery method where you can text out from the icon feature um, your pre-app to, to customers. But we also have a convenient login on that as well. So. You get pinged with a text notification that someone filled out your pre-app. Your referral partner also gets pinged with a with a, with a thank you text that you could customize, and and then you from there you would log into your to your pipeline here. And and you know one of the things that you know and we may have to do another meeting on this, but we have another product called Pre-App Agent that we have a lot of folks to say do you co-brand with realtors? We do better than co-brand with realtors. We actually co-market with them. So we we give you can add like referral partners to the system. So number one, they're on the drop down list of your application. Uh, they'll be, you know, you'll get a thank you text when someone submits it, but we also give to them a free stripped down version of our pre-app agent product. It's, I know you, you, your RESPA police out there are going, oh, it's RESPA, you can't. No, it's not because they can come directly to us and get a stripped down version of pre-app agent for free as well. Um, so, um, uh, but what it is, is it is a, Digital business card, it's digital marketing, it's video marketing. Yeah, they can they can link their uh, their IDX code to the MLS. They can have um, you know the short code, the lead. They, so they have all of that. They have a payment calculator. They have they have you know they could build. For instance, they could add a list of you know home inspectors and insurance agents and things. Anything any value that they want to add to their customer is in that product. 
and as they market themselves okay you're it'll have a get pre-qualified button that is embedded into it that ties to your pre-app so you actually piggyback on the on the on the 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 reach of their marketing as they market themselves and i think realtors are more apt to market themselves than they are to co-market with somebody else so you just get a piggyback in on that under the get pre-qualified so again whole nother topic we, we would uh, need to talk about um but anyway this is this is the pipeline okay and what i want to do is i'm going to go over here i'm going to show you one particular borrower and by the way we do have like uh, integrations with encompass we have integrations with lending qb lending qb is we are so impressed with their api and, and our new enhanced integration with them but this is an example i'm going to pick erica lambert here and here if you notice this would be all of her, her data which you could edit this application data we also give um, a loan summary status statuses and actually with the los integration you can uh, customize what loan summary statuses you want here credit has already been pulled on her okay you can actually view the pdf credit report you can edit the liabilities okay so i could, if i could click the liabilities so i could edit the liabilities it i could actually turn this if it was my phone and show you how this works but i could you could also open these up and you could omit payments and you could tweak these liabilities the way you would within your los then you could work a purchase scenario and and TJ, I know you're wanting to look at the document upload. I'm actually working that way. I'm taking you on a scenic route. Is that okay? Yeah, man, this is awesome. Let's say it. Okay. okay. So, um, and then you would work a purchase scenario, guys. And so, you know, so what you've done, you've already looked at the credit. You have tweaked the liabilities based upon dialogue you would have with the customer. Then you would go to the, um, you would um, uh, select a closing cost template. You could create closing cost templates within our system to mirror what you have in your LOS or whatever, however you want to set those up. So we're going to go with the $200,000 sales price to start with conventional. And uh, I'm choosing conventional because we already have hard coded like the funding fees for VA, the MI factors for FHA, USDA, things like that. I want to demonstrate our PMI uh, integration. So for the loan to value, you could either type in a down payment or you can uh, select the uh, a predetermined loan to value. Now here's, this is cool. Okay, guys, this is it. Lenny QB customers, you can actually pull pricing from Lenny QB. I'm just going to show this real fast. And we also have an optimal blue one, but I'm, I'm real big on this Lenny QB thing right now. So you can actually pull rates right from uh, price my loan, which is super cool. And, um, and those, those companies that may be vetting other systems, you did really need to look at this. So you actually select the, the product. You can select the, uh, the rate and it just, it populates it right there. So I just pulled and we actually could even lock rates through that API. But anyway, it gives a principal and interest payment right here, taxes and insurance. And you can open these up and edit these very quickly uh, on the fly like this. Um, for the PMI, I'm going to go ahead and show our MGIC integration. Some of this, guys, may be old. If, if you're, you know, if, what I'm showing you now, this is not new. Okay, this is stuff. This is stuff we've been doing for quite some time now. Um, but I, you know, some of y'all may have never seen this. I'm just showing this. So right here, we got a PMI uh, quote, and we got your projected PITI, and then down here, cash to close, closing costs, prepays. And you can open those up and edit those if you want. You can throw in some credits, and then you got your totals. You got your income your liabilities, your projected PITI, your front end and back end ratios, funds needed to close, borrowers available funds, and a surplus or a negative, okay? So we're gonna save the scenario. Now, from here, I'm gonna show you is, and again, the reason I have this so small is I'm showing this from a mobile perspective. Okay, so from here, you can open up, show my options, and you can either import it into your LOS, we actually uh, are, are announcing our DU integration um, in about a week or so. Uh, we, we, have, we have the green light to go live with DU. DO, by the way, is coming for you brokers out there. It's coming in the next several weeks. But, but you could run automated underwriting. Um, uh, you can send, if you want to send to the borrower, a copy of the, like a closing cost worksheet. You can send that. Okay, so it formats very, very cleanly. Okay. Um, and everything is branded to the mortgage company. 
let me uh, let me go back here. Also, um, let's say you want to review before you issue an approval letter. You want to review some documents. So let's say they upload us some documents. So we're going to go view documents. Now this is the one of the new features, TJ, that you asked about. We had a lot of feedback from our customers asking us to make some some changes to this. So basically, what this is. Oh, guys, one of the things I forgot to mention. Something else we've had requests of is. Can we customize the checklist of items to the mm -hmm. borrower depending on how they answer the application? And, and the answer is yes, that's now live. You can, if they're employed, self-employed, if they're retired or veteran or, or, you know, we have some other parameters in there. You could say, okay, I want, you know, these items to go if they, depending on they, how they answer. So it's a, it's a dynamic customizable checklist uh, for um, items or steps requested. I have one question on security. Someone was asking us about security on the news feed. Hmm. Like yeah, how so do we know the borrower sensitive info is secure. <laughs> well, it, well, the system is is absolutely secure. Uh, our, our we use Armor Incorporated for our, for our, uh, hosting company. We 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 as a company go through our SOC two type two report every year, uh, our, our our audit every year. Um, we've been vetted. We've been um, you know I mean. <laughs> If I if I went through all of the vetting process, just to add, just to integrate a pool credit with the credit agencies, y'all's eyes would glaze over. But point is, we're very secure on that, and we do have compliance packages that that would validate that. Um, so so in this, if you notice, this is this gives you an indicator of what the borrower has already uploaded. Okay, so for instance, you know, they uploaded a pint of blood right here. Uh, and then uh, here's what they still need to upload. Okay, well, we need more blood. Okay, I, I'm gonna now. So it now let's say, okay, they say, you know what? They dropped off a pint of blood. No, there's more blood at my office. So I'm gonna go ahead and submit that. And that's going to move that as checked off. And now I have these in, but let's say I wanna add something else. I could say, okay, I need Mike's uh, photo, okay? I'm going to submit that, okay, and now it goes to the checklist here. So now they need to upload Mike's photo. Now, you can also schedule document alerts to send out reminders of these uh, things. You can import the docs to your LOS this way by the click of a button. You can actually send docs securely to the customer as well, send text messages or emails. And then down here, you can, and now again, from the mobile perspective, you can view what have they uploaded. So I think I have Mike's picture here. Is that, is that your photo, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, so there's, you know, you reviewed that. Um, if let's say it's not good, we had people saying, hey, look, I need to be able to reject something and give a reason why you could re reject and give a reason. Okay. And then also just so you see how it formats on the desktop, it's just clean, man. It's, this is what they've, so this would be the list of what they've uploaded. Yeah, this has been successfully imported in the Lending QB. So that's just um, one example, okay? Now, if you guys want to issue an approval letter, you would go here to, I'm gonna create an approval letter, okay? And you would just select what type of uh, letter you want. I'm gonna use a conditional qualification. I'm gonna click the fill fields. And you actually can tell it what scenario to use. You can checkbox a couple of these items. It'll pre-populate this, it'll copy your realtor, and you would send it to the borrower's toolbox. Now, let me explain what the borrower's toolbox is. Um, let me go back here. So Drew, you're doing all this as you're, you know, you're watching the Astros win the World Series, right? Yes. And you're yeah, basically I, just I, sitting in the box, kind of, you know, managing your approvals and your documents and you, you missed the Grand Slam because you were busy on your phone and your wife. I've done that. Yeah, <laughs> I've done that. And, and I mentioned to you earlier uh, off camera that, you know, I was, I, you know, those of you that follow me on my personal Facebook, you guys know I do a lot of mission work in Africa. And I, you know, that's really my, my heartbeat, man, is I'm, you know, I, I'm, you know, I'm involved in ministry. And I just went on a two week trip uh, to, to Tanzania, Africa. And it was five o'clock in the morning. I was drinking my coffee. Uh, you know, I had jet lag. I was up. And of course, you know, the time difference, I had a pre-app that came in from one of my realtors that from, you know, customer filled out, one of my referral, uh, referral partners sent over to me. 
And, uh, and I was able to, within minutes, pull credit, work the details, real clean file. You know, I mean, the guy worked at an oil company. I mean, it was just, you know, it was just clean, great credit, but I was able to determine what he qualifies for. I issued the approval letter within five minutes. I mean, you know, that's, that's, you know, sometimes it, files need a little more love. And so, you know, you would need to run to you. That's why we added the DU component, but this one, it was just super cookie cutter. Um, but the neat thing about our approval letters is I was able to max him out at what he qualifies for. And then him or the realtor, they, they were able to lower that letter uh, to match whatever offer amount they made. So when I did end up going off grid for about 10 days on that trip, um, you know, they, they were taken care of. So, um, but the approval letters and things, they go to the borrower's toolbox. And this is what the toolbox looks like. This is what it looks like from a, from a mobile perspective. And what this is, is this is something that they are, they get emailed. They're also redirected to it upon submission. Now, this is totally branded to your mortgage company, to the loan officer. And here is where they can complete the application or upload documents. And if you notice, there could be videos here that are triggered to different loan status or milestone updates. Okay, which is, and I'm going to show you that in just a second. But this is where they would access like the closing cost worksheet approval letter, you know, or documents if you want to issue docs or whatever. So let me, um, I'm going to, let me show how that works real quick. Um, we go over to, let's see here. Um, free app options. So this is where you can add, um, yeah, this is where you would actually customize like the checklist of items. And then also, let me see here, uh, loan status management. So here's where you could say, okay, what milestones do I want available in my account? Okay. And then as, as you're working, let me go back to, I know I'm kind of all over the place guys, but let me show you this particular one. Let's say I wanted to uh, add a loan status here. I can actually open this up. And if you notice, I could check box and it'll feed, you could tie different videos. I could iframe in different videos and even a message associated with these statuses. So let's say I want to put on here, you know, you have a clear to close. It's going to trigger a video to this toolbox that'll say, hey, congratulations, you now have your clear to close or whatever I want. And so you can actually really dial this thing in to be as, 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 you know, customer facing uh, friendly as you want. So, so Drew, when, yeah. when you select a milestone, um, you know, will, is a notification sent out to, to the client on that? Yes, they, they, will, they will instantly get a text notification and an email. Um, it's with a link to their toolbox and their toolbox again with is this and they could if they open it up on their phone. It looks like this and they could see the, the, the latest milestone with a video for that. And if you want, they could go here and view, view former statuses and stuff as well. So, so just think um, how powerful that is, though. You're sitting there. You, we all have our phones in our hands the whole time. The three of us have been on this webinar. We've each had our, our phone in our hands the entire time, so we're talking to each other. Everyone watching this has had their phone in their hands. Your client gets a text message from you with uh, a conditional approval on there. They open it up. They click on that link. Video comes up of you explaining what a conditional approval means. Go ahead, and we need these items, and then you have your list below. So it's an instant notification on the, the thing that we have in our hand 24 hours a day or, you know, 16 hours a day, depending on how much you sleep. So Absolutely. I think that's amazing. And you could, you could, you know, we have so many statuses here and you could link different videos and you could really walk them through whatever processes you guys want. Um, something else we added is we did add some analytics here. So we've had a lot of, you know, um, you know, where, where did, you know, where did my business come from? Who's my referral partners? How much business? You could just dial that in. Um, as I mentioned earlier, uh, you know, we are integrating with wholesale lenders right now to price lock loans, update the applications uh, directly to them, um, run, you know, select them as a sponsoring lender to run DO. So uh, we're in the middle of that. And we also have some other things that we're working on that we're really excited about that I don't want to announce yet. Uh, but it's, it's, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be great. So, you know, again, people have, 
been requesting things and we've been listening and we've been uh, developing accordingly. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. So, so um, you know, what do you see the future as pre app 1003? Beyond you just the said you can't really talk talking. about a fish. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. You can talk about it a little bit. Uh, you, you know, here's, here's the thing. You know, we have, we have people ask, oh, do you guys have day one certainty features built in? Okay, I want to answer that to start with. Yes, we do. Okay, we already have that. We've had that. Um, so, you know, there's things I don't want to, there's things I don't want to talk about exactly where we're going. Um, but I will tell you this, that, uh, pre-app is going to give you complete autonomy for brokers. You know, there's a lot of lenders out there. They're offering their, a lot of wholesalers are offering their free thing. Well, you know, free is never free. And, um, and, you know, I, you know, Personally, I don't want I don't want any of my wholesalers knowing exactly what I'm doing. Okay, I want my freedom and my autonomy. Um, there's other systems out there that may offer a free. Um, hey, try us for a while, but uh, at the end of the day, they're going to be very they're they're going to be very expensive. Um, so for for our price point, it's uh, you know we're 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 delivering more than other systems on the market at the most affordable price point. So for folks watching, what is that price point right now? Well, for uh, if a broker, it's, it's, let's say let's say an individual comes to us um, and just buys it directly, it's going to be thirty nine dollars a month, no setup fee. Um, and if they want to run automated underwriting, it's a ten dollar upgrade. So put a put a, at a forty nine dollar price point. Um, now on corporate enterprise solutions, and we do have um, we have some pretty big companies using our system, um, and obviously uh, we give price breaks depending on the terms of the contract and what all they want done. Um, I do want to say this for our lending QB customers out there for the month of September, um, we are waiving a setup fee on corporate accounts. And um, uh, I think you guys really need to take a look at, at what we're doing uh, because we have the, the most robust integration with that LOS than any point of sale system on the market today. Hey, speaking of uh, LOS integration, uh, Dana is asking if you guys integrate with Calix Point. Calix Point. <laughs> so, Calix Point is the. Let me br only... let me break out the CD-ROM for with yeah. with, uh, with Calix on it. So. Yeah. You know you know here's the thing. Uh, you have to import the Fannie Mae three three point two file into Calix. Okay. Um, you know, uh, so I I, I don't want to I don't want to be negative about anything, but there are there are other systems that I think are a little more a little more broker and loan officer friendly. Uh, I could mention some, um, you know, you guys need to check out, you know, lending pad is a good one. Uh, we have a good relationship with them. Um, our integration is still pretty, uh, pretty um, uh, limited right now with them, but it is growing. Uh, we like them uh, for you, uh, you companies that, that are, are, you know, larger than sort of the mom and pop shops, you know, you know, look at, look at uh, lending QB, uh, very, uh, very good system. Um, I'm not a fan of um, some of the others, so I just, you know, did I say that out loud? I didn't say that out loud. No, we didn't hear that, so hear we'll, that. we'll edit that part out. But, <laughs> hey, Dana, just to let you know, uh, the system the Fish and I work off of, we have to import the 3.2. It's it's a, it, it, it's one extra step. You know, it's very smooth. It's very easy. Fish, I don't have any issues importing into uh, into – um, whatever we call our system this month. What? Don't forget your e-consent. Got to download right. that. Yep. Yeah, yeah, but but that's the cool thing. You have that e-consent built into it, so yeah. we can upload that into our system, and it covers that. So, um, but Drew, I'll tell you this. So as I'm sitting here watching this, one of the things that I am thinking to myself is, as a pre-app user for, I don't know, Fish, what, 18 months now, almost two years, I guess, that we've been part of this. God, has it been that long? But I've only scratched the surface of what we can do with the system here. It goes back to one of our original conversations that we had when you talked about driving the Ferrari, right? And so, mm -hmm. what was it? We were driving the Ferrari in the mud or, or whatever, whatever yeah, the analogy yeah, was. Yeah, don't drive a Ferrari on a dirt road. You know, right. you've got all this power, but you're limited. Yeah. Yep. And, and, that, and that's what I'm doing. I'm sitting here looking at this. I'm like, God, I have all these videos about, you know, various steps throughout this, throughout the, uh, the process, but I got to go in, I got to go into bomb bomb or i gotta set link send a youtube link when with your system i can just update a status and it gets pushed right to that and and from the document management some of the smoothest files i've had is when 
my customers have just grasped the concept of pre-app 1003 and just uploaded everything right there. It's it's just it's a very simple one-stop shop almost. So I would encourage anyone who is if if you're an existing user, um, or if you want to you know start and give it a shot, really go all in, right? Really learn how to set it up. Take the time to go ahead and watch the training videos, get things set up, and and see where what happens for you. My guess is you're going to be blown away, and you're going to see an increase in your production. You're going to see a decrease in headaches. Um, you know, for chasing people down, getting in contact with people, communicating with people. So that that would be, you know, kind of pulling from this. That's what I'm taking from it is really go ahead and give this thing a shot and, and take advantage of all the features. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, guys, um, uh, I tell you what, uh, those that are on this uh, on this group, if uh, if you guys, if you're if you if you're not a current user of Preapp 1003, this is what we could do for you. We can offer a 30 day free trial. Um, I am going to, let me, i tell you what, uh, if you give me about, i tell you what, you, this will be live in, in about 30 minutes, okay? But text, and it might be live now, text the keyword trial to 33655. Let's see, trial. Let me see if it's live yet. If not, it will be. And, um, and we'll send you a link. Yeah, give, it, give me about 30 minutes. And uh, you can text the keyword trial to 33655 and, uh, and you'll be, we'll have a link there where you can, you can sign up for a 30 day free trial of the system and, um, and test drive it, man. You know, and I, I and also I want to say, you know, I mentioned our pre-app agent product earlier. If you guys want to see an example of that, and if you're looking at maybe entertaining, um, you know, wanting to look at a different LOS, um, again, you know, this would be more for the, you know, the, the, I don't want to say the larger size co uh, companies, but, um, you, you could text lending Q, excuse me, you could text LQB to three, three, six, five, five as well. Now, Lynn Cook is going to get a ton of text messages when you guys do that, but you could set up, sign up for a, a demo, uh, with them as well. And again, but the reason why I'm mentioning that is there, they actually have the pre-app agent um landing page there so it gives you an idea what can your realtors if you if you get your sign up add your realtors to the system what do they get okay so how they can link a pre-call form and their mls and things so again just i thought i'd throw that out there as an example you know i think i'd like us to do a follow-up in a couple of weeks and, and focus a little bit more on the pre-app agent functionality uh, okay. just get a good understanding of it showing people how you can utilize it um you know, how you can leverage it with your agents so you're constantly in front of them. So, you know, the example I always give, you know, when I'm talking to agents about it, is like, you know, you can, I could be in one of my daughter's Taekwondo tournaments. You know, you can message this over to me and I can go ahead and grab it right there and do the pre-qualification for you. But, you know, again, where I fail is I should just have them getting the pre-app agent installed on their phone. So they're, they're they have control over yeah. this as well. So just another level of building that fence around your agent team um, that pre-app offers. But like I said, we, we definitely, I think from looking at that, that's another thing we got to talk about and get a little bit more detail with. Yeah, guys, I just noticed something. It's 1.59 Central Time. I've got a two o'clock. I've got a hard stop right now. Man, I really appreciate y'all okay. letting me to get on here and share and ramble a little bit some too, you know? All right, Drew, we'll awesome fish. Wrap it up, brother. All right, man, we'll circle back to you, Drew. If anybody has any questions, you guys can tag him in the group or shoot him a quick message. Definitely take advantage of his demo. Um, and like we said, we'll try to circle back a little bit more. Maybe next time around, TJ and I will talk a little bit more about how folks are using it to market.